just right on that part. Just bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Try the gnarly way, I think. Ah! Almost. Eh, I'm gonna try it again. Yeah. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel. Today we're out with our buddy Cam and the old man. We got the BBR 170 out today. We've been shredding it already. Never met Cam before. But we're breaking you in, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, unlike last video and this time, we got the D3 exhaust finally on the bike and it sounds sick. It's one way to break them in. Does it sound better, but it actually runs a lot better. Now the thing will rev out. We were getting her done though with this KLX. Epic day to be out riding. Perfect weather for it. Oh, nice new log right in the way. Okay, now we come to these slippery slope rocks. All about balance, really sucks when they're wet. This stuff makes you want to slide over when they're soaked. But today we got uh, heaps on heaps on heaps of traction. All right. Now we're chasing Cam in through the woods. He's got one of them damn street legal bikes. Up we go. <laughs> he's got a, a huge stick hanging off his backpack. Now Cam said he didn't normally ride stuff like this, so we were kind of just pushing him a little bit beyond his normals. This is awesome. Yeah, you had a partner hang along. Yeah, that was This is all part of it though, right boys? Making people get better by taking them out on the trails. Just kind of forcing them, right? Like you said, oh, this is harder than the stuff he rides with his brother. Oh, there's only one way to get good, right? Up he goes. Stay on it. Yeah! Our turn. We're certainly breaking them in today. Certainly breaking them in. It's always fun bringing people though and pushing their skill levels up. And it's always, you know, you, if you go riding with just buddies that are same skill level or lower, you might not push yourself on those trails because you guys all sit there and go, oh, look at those. And they're like, nope, that's too gnarly, right? This one's such a good trail. Making a right turn, are we? Yeah. <laughs> I it into a tree. Man's running the softest tire I've ever seen. That thing's at four PSI and it's just squishy as can be. Yeah, buddy. There we go, right up it. Just a little bit of momentum. All the difference you need.
yeah, man. Just right on that power. Just bop, 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 bop. Yeah, we left them in the dust, boys. All right, this is our first true test with the BBR 170. So far, loving it. I figured out, I've had this one issue, and I couldn't figure it out, but I just figured it out. And actually the line that comes off from the fuel tank to fill the car bowl has a kink in the fuel line. And that's why I bet it's suffocating a fuel. So we figured that out and why it still didn't run 100% mint, but now we got to dial, we should have it dialed in for next ride and have it all set up. I just need a slightly longer fuel line. All right, here we go. We are into it. See, but now he's now he's like sauced up and ready to go. He's got that beer in him. Way more committed than this morning. Yeah. Man, these sticky tires. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Committed, bud. Yeah, buddy. Man, that thing's got grip in that thing. If he stays on it, it goes. Hell yeah. Yeah, man, the BBR 170 is amazing in trail. This is first like real trail ride today and uh, loving it. It's doing awesome. Thoroughly enjoying it. Yeah, buddy. I swear he must have a recluse or he's just slipping her to hell. Oh, baby! Woo! We're gonna try the gnarly way, I think. Ah! Almost. Stuck on the foot peg. Yeah, I went upside down. Now the foot peg's out or the kickstand. Okay, hold on. I got there. Just pull the kickstand up. Or you're around the route. Just don't pull the bike any There you go. 
Rolling back and yep. coming up. Backwards. Okay. I went for it. I went for it. Yeah. Oh. No, I'll probably go the other way now. <laughs> okay. Stay down here, eh? I'm gonna try it again. Yeah. Woo! Okay, that was awesome. You know, Cam's doing Cam's doing great today. For someone who normally doesn't ride this stuff, he's doing great. Choose your own adventure. All right, here we go up the backside trail. We also have stuck the. Uh, the lower gearing back in the bike because I know I just realized like yes it's nicer to have more top speed on the main roads but having more usable gears in the tight trails is uh advantageous like I'd much rather have a third and fourth gear that's super usable in fast trail hill climbs and stuff yeah buddy Go Cam, go. Man, this sticky tire makes a difference. Huge difference. Yup, get, keep going. Uh oh. Keep going, keep going. Oh, he's so close. He broke it off for me. Yeah, this tire just freaking grips up everything. Perfect. Hell yeah. Yeah, buddy. Hell yeah. These little side roads here is where you really notice the, uh, having the 170 kit. It's much more, much more fun. All right, now we're into another little flowy section. Back in the trees, a little more thick here. Wow, it's been a while since we've been here. Wow, it's tight. Very tight in here. Bone dry too, usually this is pretty muddy stuff in here. Wow, what a rut in here. Like normally it'd be completely underwater here. Like completely. And guards. That's why you get them. Big old branch to his face. And up we go. bike man I love the sound of it sounds so 
good. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, BBR made a really good sounding pipe. Hell yeah. Lots of traction today too. Rock's nice and dry. Nice little roller. Whoop. I feel like I've like noticed myself progressing and getting better, which is nice. And you know what? I think a lot of that really has to do with this backpack, man. Honestly, just having it not bounce around so much and just stay glued to your back really helps. And it's nice and lightweight. Holy, what a downhill. Holy Hell yeah, boys. Woohoo! That was awesome. You're getting a lot better at standing up and clutch control. Like I was saying earlier in the video, this gearing shorter but really helps in the tech stuff. Big log jump. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Hell yes, boys. There's some good stuff. Stuff. You know, Cam's really taking shape. Oh, spoke too soon. You good? Uh, pretty good. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. I was just saying, I'm like, man, Cam's really coming to shape. He's flying in here and then. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, you still doing really good, okay? Perfect time fall for talking good about him or not. Still doing good. From where he was this morning, he already looks like a better rider. Confidence, man. Building confidence. Oh, oh my goodness. That was close. How, was that? How did that look? Uh, I don't know, but it's scary looking. I'll tell you that. Yeah, it felt scary. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I forgot about this trail. Blew that corner. Whoa! Yeah, he's getting a little loosey goosey now. Yeah, it is a definitely a mental game on if you can do it or not. It's just like telling yourself, I got this, I got this, I got this, and committing to it. Being committed, like if you have any doubt, that's when you don't make it. So it's like, you gotta try and erase that out of your mind. It can be definitely hard, right? That's why it's a mental hurdle. I'll tell you after today, Cam probably has gotten over a good amount of his mental battles with it because we kind of just forced them, right? You got no choice when you're here. And the boys are like, let's go. You know? You know what I'm saying? That's what happens when you go with guys that like to ride the hard stuff, right? You ride the hard stuff. But that wasn't obvious enough. Yeah, this bike's so much more fun now. It's so much more, uh, more playful with this big Kabor kit and all the upgrades. It just, it puts more of a smile on your face. Not that it didn't before, but now it's just got that little bit of snap in the throttle. Makes it a whole lot of fun. The only thing that sucks is you take away that like 
you know, the stockness of any, like anything with a car or a truck the upgrade. As you start modifying it, you know, it loses that. You have to tune it, you know, it's all tunability and stuff. Trade-offs, right? You lose it, it runs just so minty on a stock carb, stock setup that's been perfected by Kawasaki. And you gotta now make it perfection yourself. So I'm still I'm still working on that with the bike and getting the fueling and everything dialed in. It runs pretty good. I'd say it's like 85% of the way there. But I think that pinch fuel line that I got definitely could uh, account for Hell yeah. That was awesome. What a bloody good adventure today has been. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure to go down below, click that like button, and subscribe for more, because we got so much more like this coming. Pretty steep and gnarly here. Super loose and dusty. Woohoo! Oh, he's going in fast. He's going in fast. Oh my God, I can't see. Oh, you can that in your video. oh, I didn't see any of it. Oh, <laughs> Once again, you're good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> A little bit more front brake than I should have. Yeah. Momentum is everything on this one. It's loose. Yeah, buddy. Right up it. Hell yeah. No problem. KLX ate that up like nothing.